undeveloped, oppressed, and low, to now highly developed, independent, and social. That's Hong Kong going through many changes, and that's why we love it here. Good morning, everyone. I am a member of the Honest Boys, and today I will talk about the topic of Hong Kong's culture and values. Hong Kong holds a special place in our hearts. But what's so special about Hong Kong? We will talk about two values. Perseverance, which includes the history and strong values held by the citizens of Hong Kong. And respect for others, which shows how Hong Kong has accepted foreign cultures, religions, food, and clothes. Let's get the ball rolling. About perseverance, we start with a little history lesson on the story of Hong Kong's anthem. It was when Hong Kong was less developed and faced oppression from other countries. The citizens of Hong Kong stood their ground for the country, even if it meant bloodshed. Nowadays, the citizens face fewer hardships, but face more personal problems, such as low income and living in subdivided flats. Despite the difficulty, they still work very hard for their families and the reputation of Hong Kong. About respect for others, you may wonder, why does Hong Kong have so many foreigners? Because Hong Kong accepts expats, because Hong Kong accepts expats and their cultures. For example, Hong Kong has accepted the religions Christianity and Islam, adding to their beliefs in Buddhism. Secondly, Hong Kong offers many options for food. We can choose Chinese or international dishes, like kimchi from Korea, tacos from Mexico, and hamburgers from the US. In addition, in addition Hong Kong adapts fashion trends from around the world and emphasizes using materials from around the world, such as Irish sheep wool. In conclusion, many other values contribute to the greatness of Hong Kong. However, we believe that the perseverance and respect for others stood out to us more by showing us the will of the whole citizens of Hong Kong and their acceptance of others. We hope that our points allow you to better understand your love for Hong Kong. Thank you. Thank you, Al. Now I'd like to welcome the first runner, runners up of the Greater Bay Area Speech Competition, Michael and Christy. Good morning everyone, I'm Michael from Class 6C. I'm Christine from 6A. The topic which we want to share with you today is loving Hong Kong culture and values. Hong Kong is a mountainous city that blends Chinese and Western influences. As an international city, it showcases a rich tapestry of culture. Many aspects of life here combine different traditions, such as exhibitions, food, language and education. Today, let's discuss this blended cultural elements. Firstly, let's explore the food culture. In traditional Chinese culture, there is no concept of afternoon tea. People, you, people typically have three main meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In contrast, in the West, it is common to take a break after lunch to enjoy some desserts like cakes and tea. However, in Hong Kong, we see a delightful fusion of both cultures. Here, people enjoy afternoon tea, but the food served often includes traditional Chinese dishes 
such as the dim sum, multiple uh, various type of dumplings. It, this phenomenon exemplifies cultural integration, where individuals combine different strengths of different culture and create a unique culinary experience suits Hong Kong. Secondly, as an international city, Hong Kong serves as a vital bridge for communication with the world. The city boasts a large exhibition center and a variety of museums making it a prime location for numerous international exhibitions. Recently, the International Jewelry Exhibition was held at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center. This event provided attendees with the Chinese jade, and with the Chinese and Western jewelry, including Chinese jade and Western gems. A variety of exhibitions attract participants from all over the world, fostering cultural exchanges between China and other countries. In conclusion, Hong Kong has a unique culture and set of values. It beautifully blends elements of both Chinese and Western traditions, presenting a fragrant array of culinary experiences and cultural landscapes. Here, you can savor both Chinese and Western cuisines and a jewelry from both China and the West. Hong Kong perfectly integrates Eastern and Western cultures, and this uniqueness is why we celebrate it as a wonderful city. This is the end of our presentation. Hope you like it. Thank you. Finally, we have the second runners up, Bobo and Yen. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Yen from Class 6C. I'm Bobo from 6D. Today, we are going to share our thoughts on the topic of loving Hong Kong. When you walk down the street, you might be rushing to work. But have you ever stopped to appreciate the vibrant civilization of Hong Kong? Firstly, the language spoken in Hong Kong Cantonese helps strengthen our sense of belonging in the city. It is the most widely spoken language here today. The Hong Kong style of Cantonese includes many loan words from English. For example, bells sounds like phalo, and strawberry sounds like silomere. I believe this is one of the most special aspects of Hong Kong. Furthermore, when people hear Cantonese in other countries, it may invoke a sense of familiarity, reinforcing the idea that language helps us develop a national identity. However, do you know why language is important? I speak from experience. When I was 10 years old, I got lost while walking on the magnificent streets of Hong Kong. I asked someone for help, and I was able to clearly explain to the stranger what I needed. This was possible because we could communicate in the same language. Language allowed us to express to, the, to others frankly. What's more, Hong Kong is open and respectful of others' freedom and cultures. For instance, there are many religions represented here, including Christianity and Catholicism. People can choose their religion freely and get fair treatment when having lunch with someone, someone who practices a religion. Everyone will wait for them to pray. 
my English teacher was a Christian. When I was in primary school, every time we had lunch together, we would wait for her to pray, and she would share some insights about her faith and life, which deepened me understanding and respectful for people's beliefs. Looking back, I believe we are all grateful for her willingness to share. In conclusion, the values and culture of Hong Kong are special and significant to us. They unite people and provide a sense of belonging and proud in our city. If I were you, I would enjoy the city and its many interesting traditions. That's why we love Hong Kong. That's the all of our sharing. Hope you like. Okay, our congratulations to the winners of the Greater Bay Area Speech Competition.